Did you know that the average house will create 40 pounds of dust in one year? Did you also know that your mattress will double its weight in 10 years because of dust? And did you know that your pillow increases in weight by 10% each year? But where does all this dust come from? Well, it comes from dust mites who consume and then excrete things like pollen, pet dander, debris, dirt from outside, and dead skin. But what does dust have to do with today? Well, we're starting off the season of Lent, which leads us into 40 days. And the first day of Lent is right here on Ash Wednesday. Now, ashes and dust are not quite the same thing, but I can draw some similar connections. Typically on Ash Wednesday, you get ashes on your forehead from palm branches, and they're smeared across your forehead by pastor or an elder who then proclaims, you are dust and dust you shall return. These words hearken back to Genesis 2-7, where we're told that God formed humans, specifically Adam, from the dust of the earth. And it's a humbling message and reminder that we do, in fact, come from dust, and we recognize the limitations and mortality of our life. Now, not long after God's creation of man, we humans had the fall into sin. And with that sin came death. We no longer could live forever. But God did not want to leave us in a place of sin and death. So he created and set into motion a plan to get us back and to claim and save us. A plan that spans thousands of years and is read as a continuous story, gradually unraveling the narrative of God's saving plan, which was Jesus. Ash Wednesday is the start of 40 days of Lent, but if you actually look at the calendar and count the days, you'll notice that it's actually 46 days until Easter. The extra six days are the Sundays, but they aren't considered part of Lent. In fact, if you look at the past, the disciples and most of the first followers of Jesus were Jews who didn't observe the seventh day, which was Saturday, because it was the Sabbath. But because Jesus rose from the dead on Sunday, then the early apostles changed their day from Saturday to Sunday to be the Sabbath day of rest and worship. When the early church began to observe the season of Lent, then we found that Sundays became this mini celebration of the risen Christ, and they were exempt from the fasting and other forms of self-denial that you still see today as people give things up for Lent in a way to prepare their hearts. So, on this Ash Wednesday, the start of Lent, we talk about the journey to Easter. The journey to becoming painfully aware of the sin and the barrier that is created between us and God. But also, we have the awareness that we are led to restoration through Jesus that is fulfilled at Easter.